Okay. Hi everyone, it's Melanie Hansen here at Coleman's Craft Warehouse. Um, and I'm just going to be bringing you a few videos over the next couple of weeks just to give you some hints and tips and little tricks for um, watercolour painting. Um, so today I was going to talk to you about buying paint in different formats. So sometimes when you go shopping it's a little bit confusing um, when you get faced with all these rows and rows of paints and you don't know whether you should buy tubes or pans. Um, so today we're going to talk about pan watercolours and tube watercolours. So first of all I'll talk about pans and um, watercolour paint comes in these little pans um, which you can see are just little <laughs> like set watercolours in these little plastic trays and they come in what we call half pans which are these smaller pans and um, they come in these larger pans as well which are called full pans um, so you'll see that if I um, I haven't got any open but if I show you what they look like in a set you can buy them individually or you can buy them in in sets um, it just depends what you want to um, what colors you want so here you can see there's some in a set um, so you've got all your colors there um, and these come in in really handy little uh, plastic containers which have got little palettes this one's got a little brush it's also got a little pull out thing there and um, if I can figure this out <laughs> on the video <laughs> this has also got another little um, palette that pulls out there so if you want to go painting outdoors and um, you you like your paints to be portable this is a very good option because you've got everything to hand you can just pack that up and all you need is a little jar of water a little um, uh, thing of water and you're ready to go so that's very convenient and they come in all different sizes as well um, so there's something like that size um, you've also got this really cute little set which comes in a little tin and um, that's quite nice as well you've got all your different colors in there um, yeah and basically you've just got to peel off your <laughs> little bits of paper and then you are ready to paint I've also got, yeah, this is called Art Aqua. Um, there's that little set there, that's that one. This one that I showed you here, the plastic one, is a Winsor & Newton one. Okay, so coming in various different sizes. I've also got, this is my personal one, um, which is a little bit larger, as you can see and I can fit quite a few colors in there. Some of these are a bit empty, but what I do is I just buy the empty little plastic pans like this, and then they just slot into these individual things. Um, and then I've also just made myself a little color chart, so I know which colors are which in here, because sometimes it's a bit difficult to see which color is which when they're, they're just in a little block like this. So that's quite a, a good idea as well if you are going to go for um, pan colors. Okay, um, yeah, and then um, you'll see that in each paint manufacturer's range, you've got the student range, which in Windsor and Newton is called Cotman, and then you've got your professional, whoop, <laughs> professional quality range which um, is your sort of artist professional quality which is more expensive these ones in the student range are a little bit more affordable um, okay so all the pans um, when they when they arrive obviously um, you'll need to wet them okay so the best way to do that is they'll need to be softened up a little bit before you use them obviously so you can either just drop some water onto them with a little pipette and if I just suck some water up you can just drop a little bit of water onto them like that or otherwise if you get a ooh, <laughs> if you get a spray bottle 
and fill it with warm water, then you can, oh, let me just move that so it doesn't get wet. Then you can actually just spray them and that'll soon soften up the colors. Okay. Um, the thing with pans is that they're just formulated slightly differently to the tubes so that they do set solid. And sometimes it can be a little bit harder to actually um, work the paint up into a large puddle for painting if you're doing painting that requires large areas of coverage. Um, but basically, if you just run your brush along your pan like that, you'll see that it soon lifts off the color and it gives you that lovely coverage. A lot of people use pans for very fine work um, because it's a lot easier just to pick up smaller amounts of paint um, and then you know you're not going to be mixing huge amounts of paint that you don't need but all of watercolor is re-wettable and, and uh, can be reconstituted with water so um, that's what's so nice about the pans is that they dry quickly as well so when you finish painting if you're out and about painting and then you finished your painting um, you can just quickly close up your palette and then you're ready to go okay um, yeah it can take a little bit longer to wet this paint and work it up okay and also sometimes when you get down to the very bottom of a of a pan and and you've used up quite a lot of paint you you're using your brush like this to sort of get into the pan and it can damage the end of your um bristles so just be careful you know with that maybe use an old brush for for mixing getting your color worked up off the pan before you use your better brush for painting but you can see there that i've got a nice um coverage from the pans um, also if you're a little bit undisciplined like i am sometimes um you know you might just go from say one pan to another pan and then your colors can get a little bit dirty so um yeah that's just something to be aware of as well sometimes when you buy um colors and sets you end up with colors that you might not need um, so for example with sets like this um, these are pretty good colors actually there's a good range of colors in here but for example I wouldn't use white sometimes you get black as well and that's not really a color I'd use so you know you can buy the little pans individually and then just slot them into an empty um, a little empty one like this so this arrived with no pans in it and I just filled my little pans and um, yeah slotted them in so I chose the colors that I wanted I also um, made myself a very cute little portable um, <laughs> uh, palette like that so there you can see the empty pans and I would fill that with paint and then I can literally put that in my pocket and take it with me so a little tin like that as well. Um, okay, so I think that pretty much covers pans. And then tubes. I like to buy my paint in tubes. Again, they come in different sizes. Okay, so you've got these little ones. Um, which are about 8 mil or 5 mil. This is the Cotman range again, and that's the student range. So they come in an eight mil size and a 21 mil size. So you've got, you know, if you use a certain color a lot, you can buy a bigger tube. And then in the artist quality range of Winsor & Newton, they come in five mil and what's that one? 14 mil. Again, these ones are more expensive because the pigment is more concentrated, there's less filler, and they tend to use more expensive pigments. But if you just want to buy this range, the Cotman range, they're perfectly suitable. You'll still get really good results um, with those. So what I like to do with my tube paints is I actually squeeze them out 
either onto a plate, okay, um, if you've been on some of our workshops, you'll see that we use these little plates. Obviously, if you're at home, you can use a bigger plate. Um, and I just squeeze out what my colors are onto that plate. And then I know that I've got all my colors there ready to paint. Um, so you can use something like that. Also quite handy is something like this, where you've got all your empty wells here. And then you've got your surface mixing area and what you can do is just squeeze out your paint into these wells and then you're ready to paint if these dry up which they will do um, you can just re-wet them and you're ready to paint so i quite like to set my palette out um, this is the one that i've got here this is my personal one that I use at home so I've squeezed out all my colors from my tubes and I will have them in this specific order and then I will know that each paint is where I want it and I know which paint is which because I've made myself a little chart okay so that corresponds to each well and then I know that I've uh, I know which color is which Okay, so I find it easier to use tubes because the formulation is slightly different than, um, oh, where's my brush gone? <laughs> the formulation is slightly different than the pans. Um, they're a little bit easier to mix up um, and get larger puddles of color. So you can see I'm more able to add more water to this. I don't have to be so careful with the little pans. You've got to be careful that you don't, you know, accidentally go into the one next to it. Um, and here I can just mix up larger puddles of color and it works up much easier um, than the pan colors. So it's quite easy and fast to mix even when they have dried up. Um, and it's easier to get a stronger concentration of color. So, um, you know, if I want to mix up a really strong wash, I can really get a lot of paint into that puddle of water there and I can get a nice strong mix of color. Okay, um, the tubes are also a little bit more economical than the pans because the pans, I think you only get, oh, let's just have a look. Oh, where is it? <laughs> it's quite a small amount. Um, I think it's something like, oh, can't even see it on there sorry this one might say no <laughs> okay anyway you get less paint in the pans than you do in the tube so you know the tube might be a little bit more expensive than the than the pan but obviously you're going to get a lot more paint in there um yeah so i prefer to use tubes that's just my personal opinion but i do have both so yeah also, when you are using tubes, just be careful to keep the, um, the little area around the lid clean and, and free from paint so that you can easily close them up securely so that they don't dry out. Um, I also keep a little pair of pliers in there because sometimes they get a little bit tight and then I can just use my pliers to loosen the lid. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it, I think, for pans and tubes. Yeah, so something like this, these are available. These are quite nice because you can keep different colors in different compartments. Um, yeah, and they're relatively cheap, these. They're not expensive. You can get ceramic ones and they're really expensive, but these ones are quite affordable. Um, yeah, but I do like a large surface area for mixing because it, it just makes you freer when you're painting. Um, yeah, okay, so that's all for now. Um, happy painting and see you next time.